so, hi everyone. Uh, thank you for to be here. Uh, I'm Pietro Terizzi, and I'm a DevOps engineer at Clastix. This is my first talk, as I said, so <laughs> be easy on me. I will try to do my best to uh, describe you my talk. So, uh, as you can see, the title is Day 2 has arrived. So, how Carvel Suite and Cluster API can bring GitOps to your Kubernetes infrastructure. This is my contact, so you can ask to me whatever you want after the call. I will be really happy to speak with you and have uh, uh, some networking. So uh, whenever you think about uh, a product, uh, it could be a simple app or an infrastructure, so on and so forth, you have to design your journey to uh, satisfaction for the client and for yourself. And this is a step-by-step -step guide, um, a simple way <laughs> to describe it, based on days. So which are, uh, w w what are these days? Uh, on day zero, you have to design your application. So you have some requirements, and you have to apply them to uh, an existing infrastructure. So you have to create an architecture. And this one, uh, just the day after tomorrow, will be uh, placed on your environment uh, during the day one step that is deploying. So during the deploying, you have to install a simple and minimal available way to install your application with a first configuration that will just work, right? But then uh, pain comes in. And it's the pain of the day two, that is maintaining your application. So whenever you are on uh, a production grade environment, maybe, for example, uh, you will try to achieve all your um, point to success, uh, fighting with uh, all new challenges about network traffic, traffic security, monitoring, and so on and so forth. But in this talk, we will focus on uh, infrastructure update and application update. So these are some of the challenges that you will have on during day two that, that could be really different, but uh, this is the first one that comes to my mind that can be uh, easily repetitive during the various uh, enterprise installation. And is timing, that is uh, uh, rapid development and delivery of updates that have to be reliable so you can avoid disruptive times to uh, your client. Uh, you have to use trustworthy, trust, trustworthy technologies, so uh, your components have to be adopted from uh, many companies, maybe, and uh, they have to be uh, able to integrate with themselves. At the same time, this could be a really um, difficult uh, challenge that leads to complexity, so you have to uh, develop a um, strong GitOps and DevOps culture with your team. So, uh, how can we achieve this? Uh, not all these changes could be achieved directly, but uh, using a declarative way with the GitOps methodology can help you uh, continuously reconcile the state of your application and infrastructures on different environment. How we can achieve this? Uh, we can involve some tools like uh, Cluster API and Carvel Suite. So, what is Cluster API? Cluster API is a Kubernetes project, Kubernetes SIG, uh, since two or three years, I, I don't really know. And, uh, it's a, a way to provide a declarative API uh, to your management cluster on Kubernetes to simplify provisioning, upgrading, uh, and so on and so forth to your uh, managed Kubernetes cluster. Uh, this comes with a, a CLI tool that is called uh, Cluster CTL. And Cluster CTL can help you to bootstrap a first uh, uh, cluster that will, call, will be called bootstrap cluster or management cluster, uh, to which you will deploy your uh, custom resource like uh, uh, control planes, machine deployment, machine, and so on and so forth. This will be your nodes, your nodes for your uh, new infrastructure as a pod, uh, as a custom resource. And uh, during the deploy, uh, the, the, there will be uh, some uh, bootstrap phase based on cloud uh, init to um, join the nodes to the uh, KubeADM control plane. Uh, how we can achieve this on different environments and different public cloud? Uh, there are um, three types of providers, but we will focus on just two. Uh, the first one is the bootstrap provider. It is the way to deploy your first cluster to um, deploy also your uh, custom resource definition for cluster API. And uh, they will be different because you can have a different uh, base uh, cluster based on Docker, based on KubeADM, on uh, Talos, and so on and so forth. 
And then we will have a workload cluster where your enterprise deploy your, is up, its application uh, for production grade environment that um, could be placed on the most famous uh, managed public cloud uh, like uh, AWS, GCP, Azure, and so on and so forth, but also on DigitalOcean, uh, OpenStack, etc. These are some simple concepts on, uh, on how uh, Cluster API achieved this. So uh, fundamentally, there is an operator uh, in, installed on the management cluster that uh, uh, tries to reconcile on different uh, level your infrastructure, core, bootstrap infrastructure, control plane, and so on. And it will be, they will be placed on a uh, different environment, as you can see. Uh, but now uh, there is, is the time to, uh, to not use uh, in, in an imperative way, so just creating uh, the, uh, the, the, the YAML manifest with the cluster CTL is not enough. Uh, so you have to uh, continuously reconcile uh, your, your infrastructure to reflect the, um, the state of, the, uh, of it. Um, in this way, there is a, a fundamental application that is called CAT controller. That is an operator uh, created by VMware and Carvel team. Uh, that deploys uh, fundamentally an uh, operator with CAP. And uh, CAP has to manage uh, cloud native application. So it continuously fetch configuration uh, from different locations. It could be your GitHub uh, repository, GitLab, or your um, uh, shared folder, and so on. And it will try to uh, deploy it and overlay it with different uh, values on your uh, environment. So the first step, as I say, is to create a bootstrap cluster. Uh, on this test, we will uh, we use uh, uh, kind, so a simple uh, Docker provider. And you will create a management cluster. On this, you will deploy your uh, CAPI CRD. That is a general way to deploy a uh, CAP controller uh, customer source definition on your environment. And then we will deploy a specific or more specific uh, providers on it, so CAPD, CAPZ, and so on, uh, to manage different cloud providers. Finally. We will deploy, as I said, the CAP controller that will continuously uh, fetch the configuration from your branch and deploy it with CAP, CAPI. Uh, the powerful way to achieve this with uh, the CAP controller is uh, uh, a custom resource called CAP App uh, that uh, provides a declarative way to install, manage, and upgrade application on your Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, we have a uh, different patch definition to uh, achieve uh, the most precise way to install your environment. But uh, in, generally speaking, uh, the one that, you will, that will interest you most are uh, the URL, the reference, the subpath, and how you will uh, deploy your template based on different languages. Um, the Carvel suite uh, comes with uh, tools like YTT, that is a, a specific language to deploy your packages and applications. But in this case, I will, it's, uh, it's uh, a template. And it comes with different way to uh, personalize your deployment using secret, config map, and so on to um, to pass uh, some values and variables, like uh, the name of your cluster, the number of nodes, version, and so on. So finally, we will achieve this, um, installing a, a CAP app, so the custom resource to uh, your management cluster. The CAP controller will read your custom app custom resource and will fetch it uh, to your management cluster um, in less than 10 seconds. And finally, it will deploy step by step uh, the nodes on your environment. So uh, as you can see, with our kubectl get pods, uh, we will pass the kubeconfig created during the first step when we uh, uh, deploy the custom resource about uh, uh, machine nodes, machine deployment, and so on. And we can see that is uh, completely uh, a simple way to achieve a different workload cluster on different environment. Uh, watching your pods, you will see that this is the uh, typical installation of a uh, Kubernetes cluster. So what we achieve now, we can uh, declarative deploy a Kubernetes cluster or more Kubernetes cluster on different environments, and simply changing values on your uh, branch on uh, GitHub, like uh, the version of the num or the number of nodes, the uh, operator will reconcile uh, the application, the custom resource uh, of uh, Capi 
on your environment, and so you will automatically see new nodes or less nodes uh, on your workload clusters, and uh, it could lead to an uh, upgrading uh, uh, your environment to a new version, for example, 1.22, uh, easily as changing a value on your uh, GitHub branch. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. Uh, write to me for every question or so on. Thank you.